Hello everybody. <clears throat> Today I want to talk some more about the bloodlines. Uh, the subject seems to be ramping back up on the internet about uh, the Nephilim bloodlines and all of that stuff. So uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and throw my two cents in there and I'm going to call this Biblical Bloodlines. Being as they're talking about Nephilim, we get that from the Bible. So uh, let's go and see what the Bible actually has to say about this. Uh, and the first we hear of it is in Genesis. Uh, and that's, I will put enmity between thee and the woman, between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. So it's between the seed of the serpent, or uh, the angel, so to speak, and the seed of the woman. Not the seed of Adam, not the seed of man, but the seed of the woman. Because this is all going to be about the woman. You're going to find that out here in a minute. And in the New Testament we're told, But as the days of Noah were, so shall the coming of the Son of Man. For as in the days of Noah, before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Uh, they were marrying bloodlines. They were crossing bloodlines. Let's go back to Genesis and take a look at that. And God saw the... Let's, we're at Genesis 6. And it came to pass when men began to multiply upon the face of the earth, daughters were born unto them. This is the seed of the woman, not the man, but the seed of the woman. And the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he is also flesh, yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years. There were giants in the earth and though they, those days after that, when the sons of God came unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men, which were old men of renown. That means famous. So famous people. And God saw that the wickedness of man was very great in the earth, and every imagination of the thought of his heart was only evil continually. It seems that way, especially here today in the United States. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast and the creeping thing and the fowls of the air, for it repenteth me that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Why? These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations. What does that mean? He's perfect in the generation from the seed of the woman. His seed was not corrupted. It was not defiled. He didn't marry and give in marriage. His DNA was intact. Okay? So, all the rest of the world, his DNA is corrupted, except for Noah. There's the 99% and the 1%. 99% are corrupted. The 1% bureau. The one guy here, his bloodline is clean and it comes from the woman and it traces it back all the way to Adam and Eve, the seed of the woman. Okay? So let's look at these blood types today. Uh, o positive, 38%. O negative, 7%. A positive, 34%. A negative, 6%. Negative, uh, is just tremendously lower. B positive, 9%. B negative, 2%. AB positive, 3%. AB negative, 1%. This is a mix of these two. So this one's not pure. AB's not a pure bloodline. It's a mixture of A and B. So we got to go back to O, A, and B. And which are which? Well, let's see. 9 and 2% here on the B. Uh, 34 and 6 on the A, and 38 and 7. So your least pure bloodline here is going to be a B negative at 2%. That would be Noah's bloodline. Wouldn't you say? That's my opinion. It's surely not the O's. 
So the negative bloodline is the pure bloodline of a woman. Was we lied to in Genesis about the serpent? Was it really a monkey or a strand of DNA that contaminated a positive DNA that contaminated all these bloodlines? Everybody's expecting Jesus to come back. Jesus comes back as in the days of Noah because they were marrying and giving in marriage. That's why Jesus comes back just like he does in Noah. So how can we say that uh, the Nephilim bloodlines are the least? They would be the greatest among us. Everybody's contaminated. Isn't that? What this says back over here in Genesis, that Noah was perfect and just in his generations, in his DNA. So you decide. There's my opinion on it, and there's what the Bible has to say about it. Here's are the percentages of what they are. So if it's going to be as it was in the days of Noah, then that makes this blood right, line right there the most pure bloodline on the planet. And that's what I got to say about that.